guys, it's Katie Did here, and I am back with another review for you guys today. So, today I'm going to be reviewing for you, if my the glare will go away, it are the Carolina Wink Markers. Um, I reached out to Imagination International Inc., which are the people who make these, and they make Copics and stuff like that. And they were so generous enough to send me a couple of things, um, these being some of them. So I cannot wait to try these out. I'm super, super excited. They sent me the Metallics set. So it comes with gold metallic, silver metallic, black pearl, and white pearl. And as you can see, there is a lot of Japanese text on the back, so um, you're not getting any information from back there. <laughs> well, unless you can speak Japanese, I suppose. So let's get right into the review. You can see on this sketchbook here, um, I have drawn a little image of my character Risha, um, her evil side and her good side. Um, she has multi personalities, yay! Actually, no, she goes through a few things, but I can't tell you those things because those are spoilery. I'm basically going to be lining this drawing on the sketchbook with these Kirarina markers, so let's jump right into it. Alrighty, so first impressions of these, I really like how they went onto the paper. They were really nice and smooth, and they just made me really happy, uh, and I love the colors that they sent me, um, black, silver, gold, and white. I kind of have a thing for metallics now, so. Here are some facts about the Kirarina wink markers. They are paint markers, so you will have to shake them and pump the tip a few times before use. I had a slight problem with my silver. It took me quite a few shakes and pumps to get it to come out, but if you work with it, it eventually will come out. Uh, they come in 18 gorgeous colors. They have 14 regular rainbow colors and three metallic colors along with white. The tip has a 0.5 milliliter line and if you color with the side of it, it has a 1 millimeter line. This is an estimate. I mean, I compared it to other liners and markers I have, so I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it that's pretty close. They're a multi-purpose pen that is compatible with a variety of surfaces, including paper, photos, plastic, and glass. For best results on absorbent surfaces, work a little slower so the surface has some time to absorb the ink. Keep them stored horizontally for best results. If you have issues with the ink flow, shake the pen and pump the tip a few times. The lid has this really awesome flower design so it won't roll across your surface like most round markers. It has a very smooth ink flow, but because of how the tip is designed, you'll have to be careful how you write with it or else some of the ink will splatter a little bit. I don't know if you can see in the drawing or the lining, but I had a couple problems with that. And a nice plus, they can be erased over once they are dry without any change to any of the ink. They have no smell to them also, so that's a good thing. Some paint markers can be really fumy. These have absolutely no smell. That's a plus. I love these markers. I'm so happy they sent me them. I'm pretty sure I'll probably go out and purchase some more because I really like them that much. So I really hope you enjoyed this review. If you did and you'd like to see other reviews, comment down below and let me know what you'd like to see in a review. Give this video a thumbs up also and don't forget to subscribe for more art videos and reviews and unboxings. Until next time, bye!